Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new home style video. It feels like ages since I've done a home video, but really it's only been like a couple of weeks, but I guess we've had the pack with me for Barcelona and then we had the Barcelona vlog, so I don't know, it just feels like a while since I've posted a home video on my channel so I'm really excited to get back into the home interior videos and I'm especially excited for this video which is in partnership with Sophie Allport I know what an absolute pinch me moment when Sophie Allport said that they wanted to work with me on a YouTube video and also some Instagram content I was like are you sure like little old me oh, honestly it's just amazing like a dream come true they are such a gorgeous brand I've had their pieces in the past I just love the whole modern country feel that Sophie Allport has I love all the different ranges I love hearts range the hair range and the new strawberry range which you may see featured in this video today yeah they just nail it with every single range that they bring out and I love them all so today's video is going to be a huge Sophie Allport haul, like unboxing and haul. I've had these for two weeks now and I've not been able to open them, which you don't understand how much that pains me to see these boxes from Sophie Allport in my haul and I've not been able to open them because I needed to film an unboxing. So I am so excited to get them unboxed today. Everything that I show today will be linked in the description box as always and I've also got a 15% off discount code, not just 10%, a 15% off code which is going to be florally15 which can get you 15% off anything from Sophie Allport website which is super exciting. So let's get straight into it and just before I open anything I just firstly want to say a big thank you to Sophie Allport for collaborating with me on this video and over on Instagram. Honestly so so grateful to have this many pretty items sent over to me to share with you all so yeah a real dream come true. First I've got these two long boxes and I think I know what's going to be inside. I think it's faux flowers. Can you actually believe that I picked more faux flowers? Ugh. I've just, I've got like so many boxes. I think it's verging on like eight big plastic boxes of faux flowers that I've got now. I've had to put some in the attic, some in the spare room. It's really, really getting out of control, but the Sophie Allport flowers just look so nice on the website, and I was able to pick my own pieces for this collab, which is insane. Like, I, I felt so lucky to be able to pick my own pieces. So, yeah, I went with some faux flowers as a little treat. Lucky for you, you can see me struggle to get into boxes again. I feel like I need, I feel like there needs to be like a device that helps people get into boxes really easily because like I just I struggle so much <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so excited <laughs> oh. oh my god I just knocked over the KFC drink from last night <laughs> so here are the first set of flowers they come all wrapped in this tissue paper with a cute little Sophie Allport sticker which I really like <gasps> how pretty are these oh my goodness Oh, it's two different types. These are so pretty. So first is this eucalyptus stem and on the website it's called eucalyptus spray with seeds. And it was, it was a little bit pricey actually. It was 22 pounds for just this, but I feel like you get so much on it. And I just ordered one and I feel like if you popped it in a bouquet and had one stem that way, one stem that way, like it looks ridiculous on camera but blended in with other things, you can really create more of a fuller effect with only just one spray. So that's probably what I will do when I get this in a bouquet, I will like split them all up like this and then you've got bits of eucalyptus coming from different angles. But despite it being £21, I actually think it's quite worth it because everything is perfect like the shape of the leaves are perfect the color is perfect it's quite like a nice muted green color as you can see nothing too bright that looks unrealistic nothing too like yellowy green which i really don't like this is a really nice like olivey colored green like a dark olive colored green and like i mentioned before it's got these seeds on which adds to the realistic effect of the spray so yeah i can't wait to get this in a little spring bouquet i think it looks so realistic i absolutely love it and i also got a spray of the wax flower as well and this was much more affordable it was eight pound for the whole spray which i think is really good and these are so pretty i love these kind of flowers in spring summer really ditzy like smaller or ditzy white flowers i think are so cute how well do the pair go together as well in fact all the flowers that i picked out go together really nicely so let's get into the next package so here are the next faux flower sprays these are anathems I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and these just reminded me of spring like if I give you a little close-up of the actual flowers on them the little white flowers just really reminded me of springtime I thought they were really lovely the color was really nice and I just thought that they would look nice with other green foliage and like white ditzy stems as well so yeah they drew me in and look how much you get on one spray as well I think one spray was 
maybe like £12-ish, but you get like that, you get that, and you get that, which has flowers and leaves on, so you get quite a lot for one. So you could have just, I could have just got away with buying one, but I went for two, and I feel like it'll just bulk out a bouquet much nicer. And then I'll open the second box, which I'm guessing is faux flowers again. I think this is my cherry blossoms. I'm so excited. I absolutely love blossom in spring. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? This looks like real blossom. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this so much. Doesn't it look so pretty? I'm obsessed. This was actually cheaper than the Anathem sprays, but I think this is nicer. I think it's honestly gorgeous. The white flowers, you get so many little bundles of white flowers on one spray. I think that is so pretty. I cannot wait to display this now. I can't believe I've waited two weeks with this in the box and I didn't even know what it looked like. It's absolutely stunning. So I got two of those. And then I also got this little mini leaf branch. It was about £6 and I just thought it's nice to just like bulk out displays, have a bit of foliage. Like I mentioned with the eucalyptus, you can bend these in all different ways and it just looks like you've got leaves coming out of every angle of the bouquet. I often do that with is just like bend it all different ways just to create a fuller look. A nice spring summery green colour and I really like the brown branch as well. Sometimes when it's a green branch it can look a little bit unrealistic but I like the green leaves matched with the brown branch. I just think it looks like a real branch with leaves. <laughs> so how exciting was that? The faux flowers from Sophie Allport are amazing, such good quality. So you get what you pay for but I think it's worth it, especially with faux flowers like you can bring them out every single year, you can leave them for months and they won't die. I love real flowers and I do like like displaying real flowers and fresh flowers every now and again, but I am a faux flower girl at heart. So now I'm going to tackle the big, big box and I'm so excited to see the things that are in here. Obviously I picked them, but I'm so excited to see them in person. So I've got the first thing here. It's a little strawberry bowl. Oh! cute it's like it's called a stone nibbles bowl but it's from the new strawberries collection which I fell in love with when I saw it on the website I just thought it was so summer vibes like strawberries are my favorite fruit anyway I love strawberries in the summer with like chocolate or like popping them on top of your Prosecco so I very much associate strawberries with summer and I just fell in love with the range so I got this cute little strawberries bowl it is so so cute it's got the strawberry print on the inside neutral on the outside which I love and then it's got like a green rim along the top and it's also kind of like a bumpy scallop top as well which I love more than just like a round top I just think a scalloped top is much prettier <gasps> love this I can't wait to see the other strawberry things like we'll go with this bowl I haven't just ordered like one single strawberry bowl I've ordered like a range of strawberry things so let's see what else is in the box these are so cute i love these so much they're like little garden beakers i am obsessed these are so summer like can you not just picture yourself in the garden in summer the sun is shining and you're drinking some i don't know apple juice or fruit juice out of a little beaker like this or some like iced water <gasps> they are so cute look let's let's get them next to the strawberry bowl I just love this strawberries collection so much. So these are like little beakers. They're only very small, but I feel like they're just nice for like a little like chilled drink. They've got the strawberries around the outside and a lovely green colour on the inside. How nice is that colour? It's the bowls to match the beakers. How cute are these? So I'll just hold them both up. Same sort of pattern. You've got the strawberries on the outside. I love the white colour match with the green. That is just such a perfect colour combo. Mixed with the red of the strawberries. I think it all ties together so nicely. How nice is it going to be to have friends over in the garden and getting all my Sophie all port range out I just think it's so cute so summer I'm in love it's some strawberry plates <laughs> I feel like I'm just getting excited about everything but I've had to wait so long to open this so I am really excited I'm I'm not gonna lie I'm so excited to open these plates and that's just a sign that I'm getting old because five years ago I would not be excited to open plates but now it's like the best thing ever <laughs> so these of course match the bowls they match the little beakers they match the other like more ceramic style bowl everything will just match so nicely i'm so excited to like host a garden party i'm not sure whether these came as a set or whether you can buy them 
individually. This is the dinner plate size and this is the side plate. I just love how they're different designs but they still complement each other really nicely. I love the green colour so much. I'm so glad I went with this strawberry range. The green looked really nice on the website but it's so much nicer in real life. It's so much more muted, like a muted sage green which is a colour that I'm just loving at the minute. <gasps> strawberry napkins! I'm so excited. Should I open them? Yeah, I'll open them. These are so pretty. So you get four of them. You get, I'm guessing it's two of the darker green and then two of the sagey grey green. They are so nice. I love these so much. Obviously for an actual napkin for when you've got friends over, but if any of you follow me on my home Instagram, which is at Florally Home, I often have like a napkin like draped over the kitchen worktop just as like a bit of a styling piece. So this will definitely make for some good Instagram content. <laughs> so I think this is the last of the strawberry collection now, which I'm so sad about because the strawberry collection was literally better than I thought it would be. I'm so in love with all the colorings. I think it, they've done it so well. But this is a little strawberry jar. So cute. It's a little bit smaller than I actually thought it would be, but it's still so cute. Nevertheless, oh my goodness, how adorable is that? I feel like in the middle of a tablescape when you've got like other strawberry range from Sophie Allport out, I feel like this just adds a lovely modern country feel to the whole vibe. So that's it for the strawberry range. I love it so much. I think the colourings are perfect and I feel like I'm going to use my own code to order more from that range because it was just so cute, so lovely. And I think my code is only active until the end of May actually, so if there is anything that you want then I would definitely go and order it sooner rather than later. Okay, moving on to the next thing. My mum actually wanted this, so I picked one up for her. It's the Hedro Berries Hand Wash, and look how cute the bottle is. The little sage label. Let's give it a smell. Mmm, smells nice actually. Very, like, berry-y. <laughs> smells like berries. Well, it is called Hedro Berries, and it smells, like, quite florally as well. Just a nice scent to wash your hands with. So, yeah, I got that from my mum, so I'll give her that when she's back from her holiday. In fact, she's coming back tonight actually. Jake's going to pick them up from the airport so when I next see her I will give her her new hand wash. I also picked up the same scent in a diffuser for my mum as well, the Hedro Berries. I'll just get it out to show you what it looks like. So here it is, very simplistic. I really like just simple branding and I'm guessing it will smell exactly the same as the hand wash which smelled really nice so yeah I'll give my mum that when I see her next as well. And then I also picked up a diffuser for myself as well. This one was recommended to me by one of my friends on Instagram. It's Honey Spiced Lavender, so no idea what to expect really, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to open the diffuser on camera because I can never open a diffuser. I don't know about you guys, but I really struggle to get the little plastic thing off. So I just tried to open the diffuser in the kitchen and I just can't do it. I literally can't do it. Is there a secret way to take the little like tight cork thing off the top of a diffuser because I just can't do it. My hands are literally red raw from trying, so I don't know what it smells like, but... I'm sure it would be nice. <laughs> so next I've got something wrapped in bubble wrap. It's the top part of the glass cloche like little set that I got. So I feel like the other bit is wrapped up inside. So I'll just get that and then I'll show you both of them like at the same time. Here's the little set. I think that is so cute. I love a glass cloche anyway. I just think they are so like modern country. You pop a little candle underneath, pop it on a windowsill, pop it on a, like a, a tray. I just think that's like a really nice decor accessory. But I really love the little stand that it comes with. It, this is like reminding me of Beauty and the Beast. I need a rose to go inside and then I'll feel like Belle. But I really love this white stand that it comes with on. I think it's so neutral, will go with my house really nicely. And when you think of Sophie Allport, you don't automatically think of pieces like this, you kind of just think of their like linen pieces, like their fabric collections and like different ranges and things. But when I was like having a little like nosy on the website for this collab, I came across so many beautiful decor pieces and this really caught my eye. So I knew I had to get it and it'll just go with my interior so nicely. Next, I've got two little mugs, which are in a very classic Sophie Allport print. I bet lots of you will know exactly what this print's gonna be. If you guessed correctly, well done. It's the hearts design. The hearts print is so pretty. And I got two mugs in the pink hearts design. <gasps> How cute! 
I love it so much. How cute is it? That is literally adorable. I love that design so much. I love a cup of tea and I love it even more when it's in a really nice mug. It definitely changes the way the tea tastes and I don't care what anyone says, but it absolutely does. So I got two of those. I won't open the other one. In fact, I will open the other one just so you can see both of them. Here they both are together. Really, really cute, really neutral. So, you know, we'll go with the rest of my cups and things. I like having neutral, like gray, white cups. I think they're like the best kind of classic style to have. And yeah, I can't wait for my next cup of tea because I'm gonna use my new Sophie Allport mug. And that brings us on to the last item. I know, I'm really sad as well. I wish I could just be opening Sophie Allport packages all afternoon, but the haul had to come to an end at some point. And the last thing are these gorgeous tea towels in the hearts design as well. Uh, they are so, so pretty. I've had Sophie Allport tea towels in the past and they've got like little bunnies on. I don't know if it's hair. I don't, it's not the new hair print with the green background, it's like the more neutral hair print. Really, really cute, lovely for Easter as well. But these ones are so, so cute. You've got your gray and white and then you've got your beige and pink. And these are perfect for show tea towels. And under no circumstances are these to be used for getting anything out of the microwave, anything out of the oven. I actually don't know what I would do with myself if anybody used one of these to get something out of the oven. <gasps> It just doesn't even bear thinking about, does it? <laughs> but all jokes aside, these are really, really pretty. Perfect for show, perfect for styling up an Instagram photo, and yeah, very stereotypical Sophie Allport, which I love. So that does bring us to the end of the Sophie Allport haul. I am honestly in shock at how many gorgeous pieces they sent over from like the flowers at the beginning to all like the strawberry collection, all the fragrances, the little glass cloche, tea towels, napkins, honestly, what a haul, like what an amazing haul. I feel so lucky to be able to sit and open them and show them with you all. So yeah, huge, huge thank you to Sophie Allport for collaborating with me on this video. If you did see anything that you liked, which I know that you absolutely will have, because what's not to like about these things. But if you did see anything you liked for yourself or for a loved one, if you've got anyone's birthday coming up and they are like a modern country decor lover, these pieces will suit them so much like how nice would it be to open some of those pieces on your birthday I would absolutely be made up if somebody got me some Sophie Allport things for my birthday but definitely go and make use of the discount code which is florally15 for 15% 15 off everything and I think that's going to be on until the end of May so be quick if you want anything. I really hope you enjoyed the video everyone it was so nice to get back into like home wear and home interior videos just doing what I love I love home interior so yeah I really enjoyed filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well please leave me a like and a comment down below it really does help my channel and do subscribe if you don't already because there's lots more videos like this yet to come thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you next week with a new video bye